Okay, hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> um, this is the new one, uh, the new rifle that Air Guns of Arizona sent me. The FX Revolution, which is a semi automatic air rifle shooting at around 28 to 32 foot pounds, depending on how you have it set. This tube right here uses wasted air from the pellet to cycle the, the magazine. Now, what I understand that means is, in other words, it's using the air that was already expelled out the barrel to cycle it. You're not using any extra air, so you shouldn't lose any shots, you know, over a standard bolt action rifle. It shoots with these 12 shot magazines. AOA sent me two. I have no idea if the gun actually comes with two. I suspect that it doesn't, but maybe it does. They also shipped it with an uh, additional piece right here. The, the scope rail, the dovetail, is right here. This is an extra piece. I think it's an Air Force piece, actually. And it was something that I requested so that I can move the scope more forward on this gun so that back here I can put my camera mount on and still shoulder the gun and use the view screen on the camera to shoot. The scope on here is made by FX, actually. This is the first time I've actually seen one of these. This one is 6 to, six to 18 power. It feels solid. It feels a lot like uh, the Hawk scope that I had on my other gun. This is also a mill dot scope, true at 10x power. It comes with a side wheel here, which I think is pretty snappy. It works just as good as the ones on the Hawk or the Leapers, but I think it earns a couple style points a little higher than those. The one thing I don't like about it is that there are not yard markers on this dial itself. The yard markers are on the interior of the scope. But anyway, that's that's nitpicking a bit. This is the fill probe for the gun. Actually, the only part that comes with it is the gold piece right here. These silver pieces I had in my own little grab bag of goodies. It's a male foster tip. This piece slides up into the, the gun by, by cocking it. You kind of, it's kind of a motion where you pull it back here, pull the bolt back, and then pull it down a tiny bit. That locks it in place. When that happens, it exposes the fill port right there. And then the fill probe slides snugly right into there. The barrel is the FX proprietary smooth twist barrel, and it comes shrouded. Let me zoom in on that. Um, albeit this shroud is not as big as the one on the Royal and some other guns. I still have yet to test it outside, side by side with other shrouded guns. And this is the cap that comes with it. It's a threaded cap. So you can remove this and add a moderator to this gun. If you do that, I've read that it changes you know, the, the air pressure and this mechanism a little bit so you'll need to adjust this screw right here with an allen wrench and if you switch pellets say to a pellet that has more resistance to be pushed out of the magazine then you have to adjust the reloading spring tension and that is an allen screw located on the back of the rifle now let's see what kind of crony string we can get out of this gun. I've heard everything from 50 to 70 to even some people say 80 shots, and we'll see. It's a 500cc tank, good size bottle. And we'll also take a look at the semi-auto mechanism that drives this whole thing. I'll even get my slow motion camera in here and we'll take a look at it in slow-mo to see just what it looks like through the full process. Loading the magazine is standard procedure, same as all FX magazines. Roll this counterclockwise. Flip it over, take a pellet, tail first. That locks the position of the whole thing. And then you just one at a time. All right, fast motion. And there you have it. Okay, I got my crony set up. Pellet traps just behind there with some firewood as a backdrop. I normally prefer to do my crony work outside, but out there, it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. There's a heat wave moving through the Midwest, 100% humidity. It's freaking misery, and uh, no one's home. The wife and the kid aren't here, so I got my glasses here, hearing protection. I'm really going to do this indoor, 
so I'm not a big heap of sweat by the time I get done doing this crony test. Load her up. And I have filled the gun to 220 bar, which is the maximum recommended pressure by FX. And I'm going to shoot it down until, you know, the curve starts to drop off. The trigger on this gun feels like it's about two pounds. There is a first stage here and a second stage. Okay, I did take my earphones off for one shot, and I can't be sure, but it seems a little bit louder than, uh, than the Royal, or than the Marauder, than my Ed gun. I'm pretty sure it's louder. However, it is not that crack of an unshrouded gun, so somewhere in between there. Backyard friendly? Yeah, maybe, if your neighbors aren't too, you know, cantankerous. But overall, cycled perfectly. To the first 24 pellets, I'm going to keep going. These 24 are pretty impressive, by the way, the consistency. Wait till you see the final product. I think I'm going to be impressed with the curve of this gun. All right, let's keep at it. And when the gun is done cycling through the 12, there's two things that kind of tip you off. Well, two things that really tip you off. The first is that the sound is a little bit different. You can feel when the gun recycles, the forward movement of the, of the cocking mechanism, of the pellet seeder. You can feel that forward movement. So in the last shot, all you feel is backward movement, no forward movement. Second thing is, the trigger won't pull. Once the 12 shots are through, trigger won't pull anymore, so you're not going to just keep dry firing it without knowing that you're actually out of pellets. Straightforward, good mechanism. So far, 48 shots, flawless cycling. Okay, well the crony work, actually all the work so far on this gun has been very impressive, exceeding my expectations. Crony work showed, it looks like 75 shots at about 33 foot-pounds of energy with an, ex with an extreme spread of 14 feet per second. That's crazy. 14 feet per second extreme spread. It was like 900 to 914 for the first 75 shots before dipping into the 800s. So what's interesting to me about the 75 consistent shots is that the FX Royale, when I reviewed that, gave about 60 consistent shots and the FX Royale 400 has a 400cc bottle. This is a 500cc bottle. 20%, 25% bigger than the 400cc bottle, and the gun gives 25% more sh consistent shots. It shows that this system, this semi-automatic system, is not wasting or using any extra air than a bolt-action system. Crazy. Awesome. Dude, stupendous hunting rifle. If this thing, if this thing shows accuracy out in the field, I'm going to be blown away by this rifle. Uh, the only, the only thing so far 
that kept it from cycling was actually, it was my fault. I put in a bad pellet. And you can see the, the skirt on this pellet here. Hopefully it's focusing in there. I inserted a bent skirt pellet into the magazine. So the resistance of trying to push that bent skirt through the hole in the magazine was too great and that the, the push pin didn't have enough spring to shove it through and it stopped on it. I felt it right away, it, you know, the trigger just was um, stiff, it wouldn't fire, no, no pull to it. Brought this back, locked it in place, took the magazine out and I could see that the pellet was jammed inside the magazine. No problem, I pushed it through with a pen, went on with my business. And that's been it so far. Finally, before I conclude this, I did forget to mention that the stock, actually, this cheek piece, is adjustable. Yeah, I know, it just looks like a piece of rubber. But there actually is a hex screw right here, and you can adjust the height of that. Pretty wild. So to integrate an adjustable feature into a very simple looking cheek piece, especially on a back bottle gun, very innovative, in my opinion. Pretty cool. Just one extra little thing that you get when you buy an eighteen, nineteen hundred dollar air rifle, I guess. I cannot wait to get out in the field with this. I'm probably itching more than you guys are to see it. Um, as soon as this weather lets up and I can go out there without just roasting, not to mention making the tanks go crazy with the, the temperature change. And if this shoots like other FX rifles, I think I'm gonna, just going to be really happy with it. And as usual, I'll have my scope cam set up. And after we're all done with the range stuff then, I'm going to hang out a little bit. I asked Aeroguns of Arizona if I could keep this one for a while so I can do some hunting with it. The hunting vids I'll likely put on my other channel. I prefer to just keep this channel just about the guns. And I'll use my other channel for hunting and more controversial uh, topics. That's just silly. Silly thought that hunting's controversial. I guess. Anyway, the FX revolution. Look for part two. I'm going to have it up as soon as I can get to the range, guys. I promise you. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.